As you guys might know, I absolutely love Dragon Ball Z. As I was strolling around Old Town Pasadena, I came across this really cool place called Naughty Vegan. As we know. Yes, as you guys might know. Uh, they caught my eye due to, their, uh, to their, due to their restaurant mascot that resembles Goku from the famous anime. After checking it out, I learned that they're doing something very special and unique. They're essentially reinventing sushi to be completely plant-based. It was truly delicious. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Robert Report Street Edition. Today I'm at Naughty Vegan in Pasadena where they serve some very sexy food. It's all plant-based and extremely delicious. Let's go check it out. Don't be deceived by what you are viewing. What once seemed only possible by the powerful wish-granting dragon Shenron and the seven Dragon Balls. Tell me your wish. <laughs> Naughty Vegan has done the impossible and reinvented sushi without the need of Shenron and his seven Dragon Balls. Naughty Vegan first caught my eye due to their Goku-inspired mascot. Not only are many of their plates named after famous anime characters, but the folks here have recreated traditional yet very delicious plates that resemble and taste exactly like their fish and meat-based counterparts. However, are instead 100% plant-based. So like our shrimps are based within kojak root, some of our salmon is based in kojak root, it's basically an Asian based root. Um, you can coagulate it with um, some flour, some starches and some waters. Then we have some soy based proteins, we have some straight plant based proteins where we, you know, we'll take beans, mushrooms, make some umami flavor. Um, then we'll take jackfruit, a little bit of our house made chipotle mayo um, and spicy mayo, put it together and make spicy tuna. Um, then we can kind of grab our konjac root, then get jackfruit together and make more of a fishier texture right in between. So our goal is to basically make very unique plant-based proteins that you probably wouldn't usually have in your everyday life. From their popular chicken katsu that's fried to a perfect crisp and comes in either a plate or a sami to their full-on rainbow rolls that are topped with plant-based salmon and tuna and are stuffed with, you guessed it, plant-based shrimp to their Japanese style burgers that are thinner than the classic American burger, yet are still extremely juicy. Everything here is surprisingly all vegan friendly, super tasty, and will satisfy any diet. Our goal is to basically have the non-vegan friend and the vegan friend come and eat together and not really think about each other's diets and just basically enjoy each other's time and enjoy the food. So if you're feeling naughty, hop on your Nimbus cloud, take Snake away, and visit Naughty Vegan in Pasadena. Like we could like, Hey, yep, guys, it was really, really awesome. I bought some uh, for Bobby and Andrew. They absolutely loved it, right? You guys enjoyed it. You guys yeah, the chicken it. katsu, or the chicken katsu sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was really good. I really enjoyed it. And then I was going to try the sushi, but Andy housed it before I was he able to try some of the I know, rolls. right? So he, he, he yeah. must have been really hungry. So. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, it was very good. You can, you can follow them at Naughty Vegan uh, on Instagram. That's Naughty Vegan a Panda. It's P A N P A. A P N D A. Sorry, uh, P N D A. There's so no, no A. A. No A. Yes, yes. Panda. Naughty Panda. Uh, or uh, or uh, to keep up with their latest menu, or visit them at their location uh, in Old Town Pasadena. It's a really cool spot, and Old Town Pasadena is so much fun. If you've never visited, uh, it's, it's a really cool spot to hang around. Uh, many many great places to eat. Uh, this is one of them, and they have one of the coolest uh, movie theaters there. IPix, where it's like these little pods, and uh, mm -hmm. you just it's really have you have you been there? Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. No, so, I just know of it because uh, Sam, Sam Rubin, Rubin used yes. to yeah, used yeah, yeah, to yeah. chill for them. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. am so mad whenever I miss the food because you guys were like, oh, it was really good. And I'm like, when did we do this? Yeah. So I'm frustrated. sorry. You were, you were doing no. bigger and better. Very good. <laughs> no, I have FOMO. I yeah, probably, actually. Probably. 